Before we start the video, thanks everybody for commenting and liking. Uh, it does help support our channel. Why are you guys mad? Don't forget to follow us on Instagram and all that other stuff. We have an Instagram page, TikTok, and we're going to get more. Follow us. That's it for the power. That's it. At like three times today? Becca's about to get out of here, but I'm gonna explain to y'all. It's going on. What? Oh no, look at that. So we caught that. Oh. There we go again. Okay. Put a shirt on and then explain this. All right. So, um, we've been having like really, really bad, uh, well, it's not too bad, but it's uh, power outages. And Merida has a lot of them. Like. I don't know if people talk about it, but we're going to get more into these little issues. Um, Merida has like a problem with the power outages, like things will just go out. Uh, one of my friends we were talking about it last night, she was like, you don't want your whole house on electricity. You want some of it on gas just in case it goes out. You're not completely left, you know, you're not SOL. But it's also are having a power outage as well. And um, we are too. So I'm thinking it's the whole area. But this is what's weird. So I'm gonna show you what's weird. I'm gonna show you why this is such a issue, okay? Oh, do you see this? The power is out right now, but the AC is on, right? Now watch. This light bulb is the only one that turns on in the house. Fridge is on and this one, so you think, oh, it's just the bulb, right? But when I put this bulb in, now it works. So these bulbs are the only ones that actually work. It's a little bit different than just like a regular power outage. So our Wi-Fi went out and none of the outlets work. So the AC works, uh, the fridge works this time, which is weird because it is an outlet, uh, but the power is kind of like, it's like a slow trickle. The electrician, we, so we, we told our landlord like, hey, um, power's having some issues. And I went next door to the neighbors, but um, I was told that they didn't have any issues. But then later they were like, yeah, no, we have issues. Cause it's such, such a weird outage. It's not completely like, you know, obvious. Stuff like um, Alexa will be working from this outlet. But others just won't. So you can see weird, weird situation. The electrician got here, it just turned right back on. So they didn't even really get a chance to like look. The issue is with the power company. That's what happens. And it's just one of the things that you have to deal with when living in Merida. So I am getting groceries at Soriana and I'll be some all. A little skeptical about getting a lot because our power has been like going in and out so I don't want the fridge to go out and then like all these groceries go wasted, but I'm just gonna get a few things because we are out. But first, okay. later power's back on but if you notice there is a little bit of flickering so we don't know if it's gonna go out again if you're not you if you're not hey hey buddy so another problem in paradise because this is what this video is about problems in paradise is last night becca didn't really get sleep or when you're trying to sleep in the mornings. What happens, Becky? Can you explain? What that happens? damn bird. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> this bird just keeps tapping on my window. I don't know what it wants. So I feel like I'm going crazy every time I try to go back to sleep. This bird is just like, bop, 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 and then it like flies into the window. If you're gonna do martial arts, you have to understand there's a risk you're taking. 
you could break a foot or you could accident all of this can be accidental but becca's gonna get cauliflower ears i'm not gonna get cauliflower look at this it's not cauliflower ears it's looking puffy bro <laughs> It's looking puffy. It's just inflamed for some reason. And now reason. you putting a tea bag in that thing. <laughs> a, a cold tea bag. That's how you know you finna get cauliflowers. Go ahead. Add to our problems in paradise. Um, Julian has like hives or something is happening. It's all over his body. Definitely on his legs. They're not like super visible. You can feel some of them. Oh yeah. Get his, his little thing. Little cankle. Do you see he went to a pool for the first time in our last video. Last episode, yeah. Yeah, last episode. Yeah, so he went in for the first time. It was the first time using sunscreen and going in the pool. So I don't know which one it was. Probably that pool. I don't know why I took him in a kid pool. It was like he was spitting up in it. So, yeah. <laughs> Speaking of skin issues, I can't do jujitsu for like two weeks because I have ringworm. Yeah, I've never had ringworm in my life, but I guess one of the guys got it, then another guy got it, and I was just like, man, I'm not gonna get ringworm. I'm like, eh, whatever, and I got ringworm now. Wanna see it? Stop the video if you don't wanna see it. There it is, a beautiful ring. You can tell it's a ringworm by this beautiful little uh, circumference. There's actually a lot of firsts that, that day. I don't know what it is, but it was a lot of firsts that day, like him in the pool, him with the sunscreen. My first time drinking alcohol since he was born. Um, and obviously he's breastfeeding. Oh, he like sucked on a piece of watermelon for 10 seconds, but I don't know. Maybe he's really allergic to watermelon. I am. <laughs> I'm allergic to watermelon, so maybe he is. I don't know, but we're not going. Oh yeah, we forgot Nina's swimsuit today. A lot of things have been going wrong. Oh. Yeah. You're sick. I'm sick, yeah. What the heck is going on? Oh no. We must have caught the evil eye, Julian. I must have saw a baby and I didn't kiss it. And now we're cursed forever. Don't joke about that. That's real. Don't joke huh? about that. That's real. I know it's real. That's why everybody be kissing Julian. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on, Jack? Yeah, passport. Hold Man. on, I'll cut. I'm bleeding. You're bleeding? Okay. Dad, don't take me! You're gonna be alright? I don't think you're gonna be alright, Nina. I'm gonna be alright. Becca, we'll have to do surgery. Oh no! Dad. Oh no, Nina's got a boo boo! It's just a cut, Dad. So we are going to get Nina's passport renewed. At least just like submit the paperwork so we can get it mailed to us. And yeah. Mercury's in retrograde. Yes, it is. And it has definitely been affecting our family. Nina got me a rose yesterday because she thought I'd like it. I appreciate that. I can appreciate that. the last footage we get before we're in the building and I just describe what happens. Yeah. Okay, so what happened? Um, so apparently we need her birth certificate, like the original birth certificate. I did not know that. And also I realized while we were there, I forgot her old passport. I had my old passport, so. Would have had to come back anyways. And we need a FedEx envelope, which I knew we weren't gonna have because I thought FedEx opened at eight, but it opens at nine. So we have to go home, get the birth certificate, get her passport, go to the FedEx office, get the envelope, come back here. Yeah. Yeah, so we got a lot. And being in there, they don't let you record when you go inside. And then they were like very, um, 
you know when people are bored and they just sit around all day and like they're just ready to tell you what to do just because they yeah, have honestly, nothing though, better to it's, do it's way better than the states like they were at least friendly about it the lady at the desk was friendly the guy behind me was trying to tell me what to do the whole time he just wait like he was you can see him just hovering just ready for me to do something like julian was touching was the, the painting no the guy when we you know what there were a few more yeah you're right there were a few more friendly people in there yeah you're right you're right i'm sure if you, go ahead tell them what, what happened inside i had those boats um cars and what'd you feel like going through the metal detectors and holding up your hands and stuff how'd you feel okay. you were okay, this. you were like that <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> I think I have her birth certificate. I hope I have her birth certificate. <laughs> On the move. So, yeah. Now, once we get, um, we're getting Nina's passport stuff today. Hopefully, it'll be mailed within a month to two months. Then, next week, we're going to go back for Julian's paperwork. We got all the translated documents that we needed, hopefully. We can get his Mexican birth certificate, and then we can schedule to get his U.S. birth certificate and get all those documents together and get his U.S. birth certificate and then his U.S. passport and his Mexican passport. And then we'll all have valid passports and we can finally get residency um, because we are a little legal right now. A little bit. Hmm? A little bit. A little bit. But, um, yeah, so once we get his paperwork, we can get our paperwork for the residency and we won't have to worry about tourist visa and we can leave the country if we want to because we could not leave the country right now if we wanted to. So, yeah. We gotta go to the FedEx real quick. We're actually in Central right now. Uh, we're gonna go in here and get this envelope. Came to one of our favorite restaurants to unwind and eat. Okay, so all that passport stuff was pretty straightforward. We just kind of messed it up. So mainly what we needed was her old passport, both of our passports, her original birth certificate, and then copies of everything, like three copies of all those things I just said and then the consulate kit from FedEx so it can be shipped. And then it was a little different too than just getting like an adult passport. Me and Cam both needed to be there in person. We needed to like raise our hand, take an oath that everything was correct, everything like that. You need to sign in front of the officer. And then it should be in the mail within five weeks. So you need the paperwork that you fill out online when you make the appointment, like the DS11, DS something. So yeah, we'll get her paperwork done and then hopefully get our residency sorted. And now we're at Buen Confidente trying to get some food because that was a lot. It wasn't really a lot, I'm just hungry. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. oh yeah, so uh, apparently this has never been a croissant. It's always a roll. Captain? Hope you liked the video. If you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We appreciate all the likes, all the comments. Thanks for supporting our channel. You have a nice day.